How did you feel when Ash retired in Pokemon? When he retired, I'm really sad. I will miss it very, very much. It was, you know, my whole adulthood, and I grew up with it. I was 10 years old when the show started, so it's my childhood. It's my whole life. I'm fine. <laughs> this is fine. It's like that meme with the fire in the background, yeah. Hello, uh, welcome to uh, Columbus. Hello, thank you so much. Beautiful town and great food. Yeah. You have amazing food. Yeah, I yeah. haven't had a bad morsel of food here. I, yes, I... I you know this. I got to sample everything as much as I could last year, and I was very impressed. The best meal of last year was here. Here? Yes. Yeah, a little Italian place around the corner, so. You guys are doing great. You're doing great. Okay. How are you doing? I'm good. This is great. I'm having a great time. This is my last convention of 2023. I haven't counted how many I've done, but it's probably like 30 more, maybe 30. It's almost every weekend. It's really, it's really a different lifestyle that I'm used to because I've been in a booth for 17 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's weird to come out of my closet and <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. The monsters out. Oh well. Uh, yeah. For those that may not know, let's let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. Um, uh, where, uh, where did where did acting start for you? Um, I was 12. I uh, I was a rhythmic gymnast my entire childhood, competitive. Won a bronze medal at the Junior Olympics. And uh, I told my mom I'm quitting, that she ruined my childhood and that I was not gonna do it anymore. And um, I'd always done voices and like made up languages and been very performative. And my parents are musicians, so I grew up around the theater. And um, my mom was like, do you, she was on the phone in the kitchen one day. I remember it so vividly. And she's like, do you wanna go to acting school? I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> and, um, the rest is history. I just, I loved it so much. I immediately was like, I couldn't believe, I remember being shocked that they could put a bunch of 12 year olds in a room and get us to meditate for three hours straight. That was like magic. I was like, this is magic. I could, I learned how to feel cold. I think it was more lucky to have a bunch of impressive 12 year olds. <laughs> was that? Yeah, I think it was more of a case you had, you had impressive 12 year olds. <laughs> yes, yes, no, we, we were all impressive, but also like the fact that they were able to get these impressive 12 year olds to do this very impressive thing. It's like double layer impressive. Yeah. 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 Oh, so, really cool. I went to Lee Strasberg and it was fabulous. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, and Good. those of you may not know, that's a very prestigious performing arts very uh, prestigious. institution. And uh, then you did uh, you Upright this. Citizens. I did Upright Citizens Brigade and Magnet Theater, a little bit at the pit. Um, I studied improv there, improv comedy. I'm not the best at it. It was, that was like a, mm, a bit of a weakness. I'm good at taking a script and improvising on top of it, making stuff up in the moment out of nothing. There were, there were times I had great scenes and I was like, oh, finally, that's great. But it wasn't consistent enough that I was like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna like try to get on a Herald team and all that. I I'm, like, that's too I'm fine with much. character based stuff, scene three ways. Yeah. Like, I love that stuff. But yeah. like the, the real cutesy gamey stuff with mm -hmm. everything beginning with a new letter of the alphabet and all that stuff. It was like, yeah. Those improv games I thought were just. It was good for the brain. It's really yes. good for your brain to do improv, even if you're not an actor. Um, and it's really great for coming out of your shell. If you're shy, oh, improv is like the best thing you can do. It's nerve wracking, of course, but it's, it's, it'll get you out of your head. It'll get you to literally, like their slogan is don't think and just. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is so this mine? At eight, yes. Well, I hope Excellent. it's not mine too far away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at age 18, yes. you, you got this gig. Yes. <laughs> I was 18 years old. Um, yeah, I pounded the pavement. People ask me, like, how do I get into voice acting? Uh, this was 20 years, how long? <laughs> this was 20 years ago, uh, which is a weird thing to say. <laughs> Isn't that weird? 20 years ago, I was a thinking adult. Oh, God. Um, I, I did the schooling. And the schooling continues. I'm still always in classes, which is really fun and great. But um, this, I, I pounded the pavement. I, I'm from New York, was born and raised there. So I was going out and like auditioning for agents nonstop and uh, trying to find representation because that's what you did. You got representation and then you started working. There was no YouTube. YouTube had just started, you know. Um, 
there was an Instagram. It wasn't like, oh, I can make funny skits and whatever and, you know, get noticed or, or use that to submit my work and show that I have a body of work. It was, I was a kid and I had nothing. So I was doing student films and stuff. That was the thing he did. Um, so I got an agent. I had an English teacher who got me a manager. And that manager got me the audition for Pokemon. I didn't want to be a voice actor. I didn't even think about it. It was nothing against it. I just didn't think about it. And, um, yeah, I got super lucky. This was a huge audition. And I happened to book it. And the, and the rest was, uh, was everyone's delightful history. And then suddenly, 17 years later, I'm like, ooh, ah, the princess awakens, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. There's uh, so much time in that in the booth. Uh, yeah. What was, what was one of the craziest moments you had in the booth? In the booth? Nothing yeah. crazy. I'm sorry to disappoint. Like, nothing. Should I just make something up? Nothing crazy really happened in the booth. Oh, no, yeah. At some point, I went, like, really mad. They started doing the filters on, on the Instagrams and, and all the things. So I really got into that. <laughs> and I started making videos from inside the booth that were, like, publishable. They weren't, like, you know, nothing NDA or anything. But I would, like, get the bunny ears going. This was really original in my mind. I had a good time, okay, kids? I had a good time. They, they, you like them, too. Thank you. Yeah, we love the filters. They're funny. Thank you. They're funny. You put a voice to it, an unexpected one. It's good. Good time. Did you ever meet uh, your Japanese counterpart? Yes, once. Once? Mm -hmm. What was that like? Fabulous. Yeah. She's, I mean, she's Ash. She's Satoshi. She's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I hope all of you get to meet her. She's, like, magic. I know it's, it's really cool. It, it's been discussed to, mm -hmm. to bring several of them over. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely someday. Yeah. Um, and another uh, another trait of yours, uh, parallel to all this, um, you've you've edited several rather interesting projects. Yeah. How did how about that? How did that B side come about? Um, I I've always loved film. I always wanted to do film. Like voice acting wasn't on my radar. I wanted to work in film mostly, and I loved theater because I grew up in theater. And. Um, I did a modeling job in Berlin, and I had a camera, and I just filmed all of us doing random things. And I came home, and I'm like, I'm gonna edit this into a little movie. And uh, I used iMovie, which back then was like n not good. <laughs> and I was like, I need to do more. I need more control over this. So I got into Final Cut 7. Who here knows Final Cut 7? Anybody? No? Oh, a couple of people, yeah. Um, that was a program. That was a program. And that, that is, I was like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And I learned how to edit. I went on lynda.com and I learned, I taught myself how to edit. And I like got to a professional level. My friend was a, a graphic, uh, an animator. And he had an agent, a post-production agent, and he introduced me, and she's like, oh, you're great. And she started getting me, like, professional work, and I started working as an editor, and it was great. Um, I learned a lot about the world. Uh, I got to work on uh, several news channels and make documentaries, short documentaries, and... Um, yeah, I always had an interest in international relations and things like that, so it kind of was a really nice best of both worlds. Um, and then I worked on some narrative projects. I assisted and edited a couple of films and, you know, comedies and did some things for friends and, you know, it was a good time. It all stemmed from not wanting to, frankly, be famous because when I first got this job, people did not like me. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just, like, got off social media and didn't get back on it until, like, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> that show biz. That's showbiz, baby, yeah. you know? What are you gonna do? <laughs> That's what it is. For you, what's, what's, what's been the best thing about uh, the Pokemon ride? This. Yeah. You guys, you guys, so many Ash Ketchums in here and a little Pikachu there, oh God. Yeah, I love hearing your stories. I love hearing, when you're in a booth for 17 years and you don't have an audience, the audience was literally my director and, and the engineer, and that was it. And then I'd go home and goodbye show and you see it on TV and you're like, oh, cool. But that's like as cool as it got. And now I see an audience in front of me and I see people coming up to me and telling me their stories of how the show got them through difficult times and how Ash Ketchum inspired this kid to be the very best like no one ever was. Like, and Nurse Joy is a nurse now. You know, it's <laughs> like to know that I actually um, took part in something that has such an effect on people's lives is really, really powerful and makes 
all the sacrifice worth it. It makes it really worth Like I stuck with this show for 17 years and I had to say no to other things because of it because I had to be in New York for it. So yeah, I had to be there every week and a half, two weeks. So yeah, I'm really happy I did that. And uh, you know, it's really- I think we are too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Well, before I jump in and start taking our audience questions, on behalf of myself and this audience, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for yeah. your talents and thank your you. professionalism you. and for the continued performances thank you brought to this franchise for such a long and wonderful time. Thank and you. And just thank you so much for that. Oh, stop it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. okay. What is this in this bag? Ooh, is this fun? Is it prizes? It's candy. Oh, everybody, can everybody asks a question, gets a piece of candy. I have, I have a question. <laughs> don't worry, if you, if you, don't if you qualify. say something interesting, you'll get one, so all right. All right, who's going to go first? Whoever goes first gets two pieces. No, 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 you raise your hand, we do a line. So, all right, tell you what, young lady, come on up. So. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Run, run fast. Oh. Well, yeah, be careful now. The flash she panel's earlier candy. today. She so, really all right. loves candy. Okay, hi, what's your name? Oh, my God. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh. What would you like to know? Um, what is your favorite Pokemon and Pokemon catcher besides Ash Ketchum and Pikachu. So say that one more time. What's my favorite Pokemon besides like a lot of things? What? Uh, besides <laughs> Pikachu. Besides Pikachu. Besides okay. Pikachu. So your favorite catcher and your favorite Pokemon. My favorite catcher? Yeah, your favorite oh, like Pokemon my favorite catcher. trainer? Yeah. Oh, besides Ash. Besides Ash, of course. Besides Ash. Okay, that's what I got. Okay, I love Cynthia. Where's the applause? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wake up, people. And <laughs> um, I have a list of Pokemon, but I, uh, I, I'll tell you my favorite Pokemon to play is Buneary. What are your favorites? I did that because she's so small and so cute. I mean, look at her. <laughs> Hi. Um, What's, yep, next my one. My favorite Pokemon catcher is Ash, and my favorite Pokemon is um, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff? Oh, I love Jigglypuff. Can you sing the song? Jigglypuff. I don't want <laughs> Okay. I will thank you so much for your question. There you go. You get two pieces right there. Oh, my God. You're adorable. Thank you. Ash Ketchum, how are you? No one ever says Psyduck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your name? Jacob Stilson. Jacob, what do you want to know? Well, I would like to explain how Ash's story would have ended in, in a way that would have happened. Like, like a, you have a, a fanfic you wrote or something like that? Well, perhaps it would have been a like a another Pokemon movie or something. Oh, okay. But anyway, it would have been interesting if Ash had a final confrontation with his arch enemy Giovanni, and he would come up with some master plan to control every legendary Pokemon on Earth. Ooh. And ensure Team Rocket's iron-fisted rule. And uh, all of Ash's friends would reunite with him to stop Giovanni once and for all. Ooh. I'd watch it. I'd watch it. <laughs> that was good. Well, yeah, like I said, uh, if you can find yourself a position to produce it, please let us know. We look forward to it. Thank you for sharing that. Get a round of applause you. for that. That was good. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Dalton. Dalton. So kind of a follow-up to that. Uh, assuming Ash stays in retirement, what story would you like to see him take on next? Uh, what story would I like what? Sorry. Ash to take on next. To Ash to take on next? Ooh, I would be interested in seeing him be a mentor to younger trainers. I think. Yeah, no? Wrong? Good. There you go. Sorry. All right. <laughs> no, absolutely. He's like, nah. <laughs> Hey, what's your name? Oh, my name's Maya. Hi. So you've... So you voiced Ash in the show before, but I gotta ask, have you played the games? And if you have, what's your favorite? So I've played, I've like played Pokemon Go. Like really played it. I had to put it down, you know what I mean? Um, I've dabbled in the other games, but I couldn't. If you put it in front of me, I'd be like, which button is this? It's, yeah, it's pretty sad. I don't play a lot of video games, so it's not like I'm like cheating on Pokemon or anything. It's just, I read a lot. Fair. Sorry. Thank you. It's disappointment number two, I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is genius. Hi. Hi. What's, your, what's your name? Mary Jane. Hi, Mary Jane. What would you like to ask? Oh, she's so cute. How did you feel when Ash retired in Pokemon? When he retired, I'm really sad. 
I will miss it very, very much. It was, you know, my whole adulthood. And I grew up with it. I was 10 years old when the show started, so it's my childhood. It's my whole life. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. It's like that meme with the fire in the background. Yeah, that's, that's me. Thank you very much. kind of looks like question. hers. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Christian. Christian. Hello, sir. James has said a lot of funny things. What, do you, what was your favorite saying he's ever done? Uh, my favorite saying of Ashes? James. Of he James? Not, he says a lot of funny stuff. Some oh stuff my goodness. wrong, but... Oh, to remember the lines that I never had to memorize. <laughs> that is a feat that I cannot achieve right now. Well, if you th something pops in your head, let us know. All right. Good try. I'm sorry. I don't want to misquote James. That would be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hi, Pikachu. Um, I want to know what your favorite legendary Pokemon is. See, I knew this question, why well, I told her that when well, this question always comes, and I have to decide in the moment. I have to say Mewtwo. Strong, powerful legend. I'm Mew myself. Mewtwo. Excellent. Very powerful. Thank you. Enjoy. Hello, Run, what, Pikachu. What's your name? Oh, Layla. <laughs> um, if Pikachu was not your starter Pokemon, what would? What would my personal starter Pokemon be? Oh, oh, oh or Ashes, what would it have been? I think Charmander. I like, I like Charmander, personally. I don't, don't, don't hate me, please. Well, which one would you pick? Um, probably Eevee. Okay. Oh, an Eevee. Oh, yo, oh I, could, I could have gone outside the, the options? I'm sorry, I didn't know the rules of the question. <laughs> oh, well, you may, you may submit a new answer if you wish. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, then, then. I like Charmander, though. I actually still like Charmander. <laughs> Charmander's cool. Hey, what's your name? My name's Philip. And I was Phillip. wondering if, if you couldn't play Ash, who would you play in the Pokemon? In the show? Yeah. Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia's cool. Thank hey, you. what's your name? Uh, my name is Alex. Hello. Um, you touched on this a bit earlier, um, that uh, you didn't necessarily have the warmest reception when you first started out mm -hmm. as Ash. Um, so, as many of us here uh, already know, uh, there was this big, huge controversy when the show was handed off from four kids to Pokemon mm -hmm. USA. Mm -hmm. How much did that end up affecting you personally, and does it still come up from time to time? Uh, well, yes. you brought it up. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I'm just kidding. Um, it, it affected me very deeply. It's not something I expected to happen. So, the, yeah, I was really caught off guard, like, re really badly. Um, and, Nick, I already had some struggles with, you know, depression and stuff, and that just kind of, that was bad. <laughs> but um, I talk, huh? Means to you, it was no fault of yours. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. And I, and I know that. And, and I talk about that, not to, like, bring down the crowd, but I think it's, it's a good example of like something that can really derail like your mental health and your career in a way um, because you expect your career to kind of be one thing and you love acting and you love doing all of this and then suddenly it's like oh whoa 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 um, you can bounce back from it you can bounce back you know it gets better um, it takes work it takes therapy it takes all that but um, you can always bounce back and it's worth it because had I not bounced back, I wouldn't have even sought this out. I wouldn't have even thought like, oh, I can go do conventions and meet fans. I would, that would, wouldn't have even occurred to me. So I'm glad I came out of it and I'm glad that it inspired like, oh, what more can I do with my life and how can I have some fun with this? I'm glad that it worked out. So here we are today. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Fred. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, I'm doing fine. Uh, so if you had a favorite gym leader, yeah. uh, wh which one would it be? Because uh, personally for me, it would probably be uh, Nessa because uh, she he sounds the uh, easiest to uh, conquer. She's the easiest to what now? Uh, conquer in a Pokemon ah, game. Ah, I see, I see. Um, I mean, Leon, right? Leon was, Leon was a leader of the gym. He's the leader of the gym, yes? But he's a champ, technically no. Yeah, technically the uh, Galar champion, but right. uh, when, I, when I defeated him in uh, Pokemon Sword, 
Yeah. Uh, he wasn't really that hard to co to uh, defeat at first. Because, <laughs> really? Because uh, I actually chose uh, Score Bunny as my starter Pokemon when I first okay. played that game. And uh, Score Bunny is the uh, one starter yeah. in, in any Pokemon game that gives me Buster Baxter vibes. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's very you're cool. You're, I you're love dedicated. This. I um. I have no idea what you said, but I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Very cool. Hey, what's your name? My name is Bentley. Hi, Bentley. Hey, oh, hello again. My question is, what is your favorite generation? Uh, X, Y, X, Y, Z. Same. Yes. Personally. Oh, yeah. Big time. Drama. Drama. Hi, what's your name? Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, um, so how do you feel about for the fact that Ash Ketchum is uh, not only in retirement, but there's going to be, like, a new main character, and Ash is finally going to, like, put everything to a rest? Put everything away? What did what, you say? Like, because there's going to be a new, like, New characters. Like new main character. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about that? I'm really excited. I'm really excited. They're so cute and the, the dub is amazing. And I'm still in the show. I'm just not, not one of the main characters, which is great. Um, and um, it looks really beautiful and the story is really good. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Yeah. Yay. You're excited. You're totally excited. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great cause. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. That's your, yeah. Hi. No, right? No. Hi, what's your name? My name's My name is Melvin Walker. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, so quick question. Uh mm -hmm. let's see. <laughs> uh what is some what are some of your I iconic episodes? Uh you can remember. Yes, so my favorite episode is episode 1928, Seeing the Forest Through the Trees. Yes. Yes. Yes, everything happens. He gets into a fight with Serena. He saves his people from a tree. There's a weather event. It's a great episode. Um, so that one is really memorable. And then I, I don't have like specific episodes, but anytime Ash gets to, uh, anytime I got to play like Evil Mirror Twin Ash or British Ash or like anything, anything where Ash gets to just play and not be himself, love it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Great Thank question. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Rikia. Hi. Hi. Again. Hello again. Um, so my question is, when you're voicing actual Pokemon and or even characters that just don't speak English per se, like, for yes. example, your Ghostbusters little <laughs> development. My best work. Is there actually, like, script for that? Or is it more kind of improv-y where it's like, oh, chatter back and forth, and you kind of get to play right. off of that? Right, right. So on Pokemon, it's that. It's just like, you know... It, it, kind of the emotion or popping out of the ball or whatever it is. So that's for Pokemon. Um, for Ghostbusters Afterlife, it was entirely improvised. And we saw it was the same like dubbing. We saw everything happening on screen and we just matched what we saw. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't need a script. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I still hey, haven't gotten any name? candy. My name is Keith. My name is Keith, and I just have a curiosity about the voice acting world in general. Yes. Um, since now that you're not Ash Ash consistently, yes. if there's any specific projects you might be moving on to in the voice acting world. Um, so I'm in Tokyo Revengers as Yuzuha. That's season two. It's on Hulu currently. Thank you. Thank you. More people are fit finding this out. <laughs> um, and um, I can't talk about anything else. There's... Um, there's a podcast called Across from Jericho that's really interesting if you're interested in history. I play Emma Goldman. She was a communist. <laughs> so that was really fun <laughs> to delve into that a little bit. Um, other than that, I got nothing right now that I can say. I'm sorry. But yes, I, I work every once in a while. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Hey, Michael. Michael, what do you want? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, if you could voice any project in the future, you have like free reign to pick literally anything, what oh. would you want to do? Oh, I hope to play Ursula one day in some iteration of Ursula. When my voice gets deep enough, it's almost there. Just keep doing cons and talking all day. 
stretch that range. I'll do it. Hey there, what's up? Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your name? And if you say Macho Man, I'm going to throw you out. What's your name? Uh, Ricky. <laughs> okay, Ricky. By Ricky, the way, of course great, you are, great sir. Great Macho Man cosplay you got to go out here. Awesome. What's your question? So you voiced a couple of Pokemon, right? Which yeah. one is your favorite one to do? I love doing Baneri. Okay. Yeah. yeah I told that I didn't, it wasn't a question that was asked before. Oh no, who's behind you? Oh Jesus, not you. <laughs> Should I tell the story? Uh, yes, Baneri is my favorite. I love Baneri. I love Chansey as well. And Wingull was my most difficult one because it's on an inhale. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh, your candy escapes you. You got it, it's all good, it's all good. What? You, you've, you've met before, I see. We've met before. Look at his leg. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, you have everybody on. Okay. All right, all Should right. I tell the story? This gentleman <laughs> is 19 years old. We met in Edmonton, Canada. And he asked me to sign his leg. And he already had two other signatures on it. I think I was the third, or was I the first? I was the second. And it's all the way down. And then at the end, he wanted a, a picture of Pikachu. Get on stage, get up here. Okay, we, gotta we gotta model this. <laughs> We're gonna model this, hold on. He has a weird name, I keep forgetting it. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> this kid. Hang on, I want to film this interaction. <laughs> can, one, can one of you? I guess make it vertical if you don't mind. Thank you so much. All right. What's your name? There you go. All right, all right. Well, go ahead, go ahead and get in the middle here. Okay. And then say, and Have a seat. Uh, show us your leg. Show <laughs> us your leg. This is Chitin. Is it Chitin or Chitin? Chitin. Chitin. Okay. If I'm American, can I say chitin or it's wrong? Yeah, go for it. Go for it? Oh, he's really chill, this kid. I like him. All right. <laughs> so, as you see, this is a leg. <laughs> yeah. And this is my signature. If you haven't encountered it, this is what it looks like. And that is not Peppa Pig, that is Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have Miley Flanagan and all these wonderful people. These are his legs. So I signed it, and the very next day he came back, and it was tattooed permanently. <laughs> permanent, permanent. Oh, I gotta be the best. Okay. He's the very best like no one ever was. Exactly. Yeah, I told him to do that, and he, boy, did he. I gotta catch them all. He caught them all, man. <laughs> 16. Should I continue the, the more of the story? So, like I said, we met in Edmonton, which is not Columbus. He's here in Columbus now with his father. <laughs> So he comes to me with his father, who was right there. Oh, round of applause for his father, by the way. <laughs> his father, and I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh no, and I asked you if I need to call your parents when you came to me, but he's 19, he's a consenting adult. So I was like, all right, here we go. He said, no, okay, no problem. So I signed his leg, no problem. So his father comes to me and I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, he says, I'm not in trouble, it's all good. And then I started getting into this, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And what are you doing with your life? Are you okay? I'm, I'm, I'm near, I'm fine. You're here. You're not fine. You're going to be, though. <laughs> and um, he said he wasn't interested. He didn't know what he wanted to do. He said he's not interested in going to college. So the next day, I brought him a college application. <laughs> <laughs> and I made him fill it out at my table. <laughs> And he put a big X through it, and I started <laughs> whacking him with a T-shirt. I whacked you with a T-shirt earlier, but I think it's better in that part of the story. So I'm gonna whack you with a T-shirt at the once you put the X through. That's the new part of the story. It's still, I still whacked him with a T-shirt, which is violent, and you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You hit me. I hit you. Of course. Look at this kid's shirt. It says mature people are weenies. You're gonna run something one day and you're gonna be an amazing boss because you're funny and you're fun and you're cool and you're smart and I want you to go to college and I better see you again. I wanna see a degree in four and a half years. Yes? Are you coming to Canada next year? I will come to Canada every year until you have a degree. <laughs> I'm not laughing. You better get to it, bro. <laughs> hey, go, you 
candy. Yeah, you don't deserve candy. Yeah, I gave it to you. <laughs> get off my stage. Okay, I'll let you get college, 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 Thank you. I love you. Bye. This kid. This kid. Thank you. All right. This is going on the internet, and you will be shamed forever. I'm gonna tag you. <laughs> you will be tagged. Tagged, <laughs> right? Uh, I want that right, to Another end. round of applause for Guyton, and it is dead. <laughs> okay, back to business. Thanks for coming, Guyton. You're, you're amazing. I love you so much. You are, yes, you are back. Uh, what Hello. question do you have now? Um, Finally, I can eat. My question is, oh my God. if you were in My Hero Academia, what quirk would you have? If I were in My Hero Academia, what role would I have? What quirk. What quirk would I have? Superpower. Oh, they have superpowers. I was like, yeah. what role? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I try. I watch a little bit of everything, but how am I supposed to keep it straight? I watch a little bit of everything. Um, what superhero would I have? Um, the power to um, make everyone the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> Especially Kitan. 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 <laughs> what? Huh? what? What, what would your quirk be if you could pick it? Um, I eat this. Uh, like, um, ducks fighting you. Ducks fighting you? Yes, yes I agree. So with you that. like summon energy it's ducks hilarious. and they would jump on an opponent? Yeah. Okay, like a duck version of Green Lantern. I like this. You got a great imagination. All right, there you go. Have a new one. Okay, you're, you're welcome. You're very cute. <laughs> hey, the what's very your best name? Like no one ever was. Colin. Colin? Oh my God. Yes. Um, but like, and my club would be in my academia, but like um, turn it air to like, like a weapon, we can turn like bullets too. So I mean like I did make it like a costume for it if I was in it. So what? So my question is, what if you're in my academia? Can you repeat? What if you were in My Hero Academia? What if I was in, um... As yourself. As myself? Yeah. yeah. Man. I don't know, that cast has a lot of fun. I imagine I'd be on a panel with more people than just myself. <laughs> <laughs> they get it's pretty the raucous. All right, there you go. I would be happy. They're all in school. I like being in school. Okay. I think it's a fun time. I like watching shows where everybody's in school. Say it again? You did ask my question. Wait, so I did. What, yeah, what, she would, she, if she was up there, she'd have more people up there on stage. I would have more yeah. cast members. They, my Hero Academia, their panels are always like 10, 50 15. people. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And they have a good time and they get to talk to each other. I have to talk to you guys. I can barely even see you or hear you, actually. Hello. Welcome back. Hey, what was Welcome your name again? Back. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. What do you want to know this time, Mary Jane? Who's your favorite character that you voice? That I voice? Ash Ketchum. <laughs> what, no? Bad? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's the most inspiring, I think. Everybody else was kind of a bad influence. Not everybody, but I, I voiced a lot of, like, you know, nasty little people. <laughs> Let me throw this out. What's the uh, dream gig, if you could write your own ticket? The dream not, gig? Yeah, it's not just selling an animation. There. Just, I don't uh, know why. What's that? It's hard to hear you from over there somehow. I feel like the speakers are all facing. Is there a speaker facing me? What's the dream gig? Oh, the dream gig? Um... I mean, I really want to be, I want to do comedy on camera. I'd love to do sitcoms. That's kind of what I want to do. Um, but I, voice acting wise, comedy. I want to just do comedy. Stuff that's for, for adults. You know, my, my fan base is aging rapidly. They need something more. So I think it makes sense that I do something that's funny for them as adults. I've inspired, let's move on from that. Right. I can be done with the inspiring. <laughs> I'll continue to inspire, but I wish, I wish to just have fun. What's your name? Ow. I'm Danny. Oh, no. Danny what do you want? Um, well, first I wanna say, Pokemon like got me through like middle school. <laughs> I was like, I know I don't look it, but I was like obsessed. It's like not even funny. So, middle school is hard. Um, Everyone's been asking, like, well, what's your favorite or this? What's your favorite that? I wanna know, what's your least favorite Pokemon? Everyone Whoa. has one. Mm -mm. I can't answer that. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't Do like you have a least favorite it. pet? Oh, like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but would you have a least favorite pet? No, uh, uh, well, 
I don't know. It's not the same. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she's she's logic here, bro. You're good. <laughs> I love them all. I love them all. I think they're all so well designed and they're all funny and they're all cute and they got great voices. And I don't have a least favorite Pokemon. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so sad. He's crying. See, even even Psyduck, you know. <laughs> okay, welcome back. What do you got this time? Hello. What is your least favorite Pokemon? That's what she. <laughs> that's what he just asked. <clears throat> Goodbye. Ah, Off get out of here. Little wise guy. <laughs> Hi, what's That was name? really brave. I like that a lot. That was very funny. You're a funny guy. Um, my name is Gabby. What's your least favorite Pokemon? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this panel is over. <laughs> what you got? Um, you mentioned earlier that you read a lot. I just finished The Lord of the Rings a couple of days ago. Oh I am on a, a Sergei Moss book right now. But oh, like, what are, you, what are you recommending? I need something, something to read. What do I recommend? Mm -hmm. Jesus, uh, City of Thieves is one of my favorite books. Yeah, David Benioff. It's such a great book. Um, I read a lot of articles. Right now, it's like articles. Um, let me see. Hmm. No, not that one. We could do this. Oh, if you're interested in um, acting and video games, the art and business of acting for video games, there's a lot of great stuff in there. Let's see, what I don't know. Hmm. Meh. Meh. Oh, I haven't, I, I, I got into this a little bit, but didn't finish it, but it was really beautiful. Waxing on the Karate Kid and Me, and then Michael J. Fox's book. I remember reading it actually a long time ago. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, those are my quick, quick recommendations. Um, oh, there's a, a great book, and I forgot her name. Oh, it's a comedy. I, like, I'm glad my mom's dead or something. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. But it's great, huh? No. Yes, 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 yes. Curdy, Curdy, yes. yes. Good stuff. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hang on. What? Oh, pictures from Thanksgiving. That's what I mean. All right. So, are we still uh, here? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just, just wrap. Just wrap it up. Um. So, what's uh anything on the horizon uh, that you're allowed to share? Pokemon we, the horizon. We, we, yeah, we went, yeah, we went a little bit that way too. Uh. Uh. So, anything else uh, floating around out there you can share with us? Or um, no, I can't talk about these things yet. They're NDA, yeah. and yeah, yeah. um, you know, I'm on social media. I'm constantly just doing whatever on it. What are your platforms? All of them. All of them. Okay. Uh, I, mostly I, I, I peek on Instagram because of the stories. And that's just like instant and bleh, whatever and don't have to think about it too much. Um, yeah, Instagram's the top one. I'm on, I'm on the X. Is Twitter? Yes. I'm on this. But I don't really do anything on it. You know, I post like when I'm going to be places, I do that. Um, it's not a pleasant place. It's not a pleasant place. Um, yeah, Instagram is like, if you want to like hang out and s see me be ridiculous or sing, I start, I sang like a couple of days ago and that went crazy. I sang a little bit of a Christmas song. I got one of the words wrong. It was great. And people really enjoyed that. Don't make me sing now. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's, yeah. Well, thank you so much Join for spending there. this time with us. Yeah. GalaxyCon 2023. This was Sarah Natachetti and that was our time. Thank you.